Sorry, welcome uh, everyone. So, do we have any apologies or declarations uh, of interest? Uh, well, we've got an apology from Councillor McCabe that he intimated at the earlier meeting. Uh, are there any declarations of interest? Uh, no, I don't. Have um, you got a declaration of interest? No. Okay. So, so the same as this, this morning, I think we've got something wrong this morning, Peter, maybe you could just explain explain what we should do after the general chat. Uh, I think we should be asking the officers to leave after the kind of general chat that we have, is that correct? You're on mute, Peter. Sorry, my life, sorry, apologies. Um, the. Um, in, in the previous meeting, we'd no um, actual deliberation on the item, so there was no need to go into the private session. But yes, you're quite correct. If there was a deliberation amongst yourselves as the members following your questions to uh, a present objector or the roads officers, we would normally exclude both any objectors uh, and the roads officers from the room. Okay. okay. Have we got any objectors? Uh, no. In the, again, in this instance, no. We've no objectors present. I've also got an update regarding one of the objectors who, within the last week or so, has confirmed, so she's not formally withdrawn her objection, um, but she, it's uh, Michelle McKinnon has indicated that her concerns have been addressed uh, by the, uh, the points made by roads officers. From what I've seen of the amended intended road markings, my concerns have been addressed. So, in effect, that's withdrawn, although she's not formally said she's withdrawn her objection. Okay, thanks very much, Peter. Okay. Sorry, can we, again, just before, just before we, we can... Continue. There's a there's a warning triangle at Councillor Brooks again. I think it's and coming intermittently. Could Council uh, could Mr. McDonald please confirm? Is he actually connected at this time, Alan? Yeah, he's sure is connected. Yeah, Sean. He's sure is connected. It's just the, the little warning sign keeps turning up, coming up, but it's 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 gone again. So we'll we'll take it. He's here. Thanks. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. As far as the procedures concerned, it's the same as we're meeting at one o'clock. Are we quite happy to to move down to the council officers uh, and Gordon, letting us know his thoughts on the on the TRO? Is that okay? Yeah, Gordon. Okay, Councillor McCormick, can I can I can I ask that can we can we maybe do it Ashton Road then Barhill Road? I'll, I'll just make it slightly easier if that's if that's all right. Can we just do one after the one after the other? Peter, is that is that okay yeah. with you? Right, that's fine. If I do, if, if I do, if I do, Ashton, okay. sorry, Ashton, Ashton Place first of all. Um, so we we received a, a couple of requests um, from from the residents of Ashton Place um, about emergency vehicles not being able to gain access up up the road, emergency vehicles and um, delivery vehicles. So we we had a look at it, and if you if you were to park on both sides of the road. Then it would impede access, and it would only it would only leave enough space for one vehicle to get past. So we took a we took a look at that, and and first of all, first of all, we put the restrictions on the on the Spanica side of the hotel. Um, but we changed we changed that to the to the first side of the hotel, um, just to give them just to give them more space because with the new development in there. That side of the road would that would actually be shorter. The pavement side of that road would be, would be shorter. So we, we we changed it to the other side to give to give the residents more space to park. Um, a, a few a few of the objections have also gone on about the the gate at the top of Ashton Place. Now that's that that's already been through planning, going to the reporter, and that's that's not really anything to do to do with this with this TRO. Um, the restrictions will also allow. Workmen and deliveries to stop on the on the other side of the road to stop unload and then move away. So there shouldn't there shouldn't be any any problems getting deliveries or or dropping dropping people off and then moving moving your car dropping your shopping off um, and then going back and moving your car. There shouldn't there shouldn't be any any problems with that. Restrictions the restrictions allow you allow you to do that. Um, and that that's all I've got to say in Ashton Place. Okay. Uh... Do you, do you want to go through them one by one, Gordon, and then get questions at the end? What's the best idea, Peter? I'll take your guidance on this. Uh, I mean, we, again, because we don't have um, objectors here, we can be flexible with the way we approach that. So, um, if if the members 
and uh, and Gordon are quite happy to deal with them uh, piecemeal. That's not an issue for me. Okay, okay, okay. Any comments on Gordon's uh, statement on Ashton Place? Hey, Ronnie. Thanks, uh, Michael. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Gordon. Really, just to confirm that I know we've got a note from Elaine on the 12th of October about this, but I just wanted to be absolutely uh, crystal clear on this one. Um, Gordon, that Elaine confirmed that the yellows would be on the old hotel side, that is to say the new flat side, and only on that side. Is that correct? I think that's just what you've said at the moment. And Michelle McKinnon's um, note that Peter read earlier, um, that's what she suggested. And my um, information is that the other residents would be perfectly uh, happy with that arrangement. And if that is the arrangement, then I'm happy to support it. Thanks. Um, can I just clarify, there is a small section of yellow on the opposite side, but that's only to allow vehicles to come in off Ashton Road. Um, and uh, prevent any delays on Ashton Road, but the majority of the eastern side of the road is without restrictions. Yeah, that's just on the corner, isn't it, Ellen? Yeah, that's right. That's fine. Okay, no no problems with that, Michael. Okay, Graham, do you want to come in? Elaine just confirmed what I was about to say. Thanks very much. Right, okay, okay. Okay, Gordon, you want to go on to the next area? Yep, yep, yep. Barhill, Bar, Barhill Road. So we we received requests from um elected member to remove the parking in Barhill Road as the park cars were causing safety concerns. The park cars and peat cars turning in and out of Hillside Road and also caused them to drive on the wrong side of the road, um coming in or out of that junction. The park cars are also completely blocking the footway. Now I know it's a narrow, it's a really narrow footway, but it is the only footway on on um, Hillside Road. So with a car parked on it, there's nowhere for pedestrians to go. Now I do realise that that one of the objectors has said that they own that bit of that bit of footway, but as it's an adopted road, then it, it's a council it's a council asset as it's adopted road. It, it happens a lot that, that the owners actually own own sections underneath the underneath the road. Um, now the restrictions also prevent parking on the on the corner of Barhill Road. Now we've had a we've had a few a few complaints there um, about the road being really narrow um, and cars cars having near misses coming coming round that corner. Um, so we're parked car there. You're again putting cars on the on on the opposite side of the road going round a corner. Um, there is a few there is a few comments on speeding. We carried out a survey in two thousand and nineteen, and the eighty fifth percentile speed outside number thirty, which is in this location outside number thirty Barhill Road, was thirty miles an hour. Now I will I will if the if the restrictions go in I will carry out another survey after the restrictions are in, just just to see if the if it does have any impact on it. Um, but at the at the moment at the moment the, the speed's at thirty miles an hour. Um and there's been one reported accident in the last five in the last five years in that in this section of the road. Um, and that, that's all I've got to say. Okay, thanks Gordon. Any questions for Gordon on Barhill Road? Ronnie. Thanks, Michael. Thanks again, Michael, and thanks again, Gordon. You're absolutely right. There, there's, there's been one accident, but there's been numerous near misses on it because cars heading down Bar Hill Road towards the town basically are having to cross over at the well, at the bomb well. So we've had cars coming round on the wrong side of the road because they have to swing out because of the parked cars there. And I, I have read the objections and I've got a lot of sympathy, but I would definitely be supporting this proposal. Thanks. Okay, thanks Ronnie. Graham? Yeah, thanks very much. Um, the road said that the, the the issue of looking at this TRO was at the request of an elected member, which is fine. I just wonder whether uh, the Blue Light Services, the Fire and Police, etc., have commented on challenge of restriction here. Um, I'm assuming it's made the public consultation. They would have got a copy. I, I'm reading nothing in my papers that they've had a comment on it. Am I right to assume that the Blue Light Services have got not an opinion 
on this. Um, yes, Councillor Brooks, they, 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 they were consulted and they've come back with no comments on it. Okay. Okay, any other questions on Barhill Road? No? Okay, Gordon, you want to move on, thanks. I think they were the they were the they were the only objections. Okay. Okay. Now can we can we find my papers? So are we going to have an agreement to dismiss the the objections? Uh and the recommendations. Are we, are we agreed on that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Peter, what's the what's the process now? Peter, you're on mute again. I will eventually learn. Can't <laughs> learn faster. Um the um, if you are not going into a deliberative session, that's fine. We don't need to get a private session on it. If you are simply making a decision now, then there's no need for the private session. Okay. Okay. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so thanks very much, everybody. All the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.